All right, y'all probably knew I was going to touch on this, but let's talk about Draymond Green's response to what went down down at the Capitol building. But first, let's start on y'all boy, y'all man, James Harden. He said that he hadn't heard of it or whatever the situation may be. And we, I mean, James Harden got so many chances and strikes, but let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell like, comment button, share the video. I don't even watch CNN. But when I see people post about it on Facebook, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go see what's going on. So I turn to CNN. I don't really watch CNN. But at some point, I began to have interest in politics. Now, I'm not like hardcore politics, but damn, you want to know the laws that's going on, right? And as James Harden is, he over 30. I'm over 30. That's kind of when I started to get into, you know, kind of have interest in politics and kind of dig a little bit deeper. But for, for a grown man to say, I hadn't heard nothing, all right? So whether it was after the game, shoot her on. So ain't none of your teammates go like, hey, James, you ain't see you ain't see the motherfucker climbing the wall down there in D.C.? Or one of your coaches say, man, you ain't see this? So you ain't get an alert on your phone? Ain't nobody call your mama and say, hey, James, you ain't see this? I don't believe it. I think James Harden is just trying to play the middle. He don't want to do politics at work. And I feel it. And I'll be like, you know what? I don't do politics at work. I don't mix politics with business. And I respect that because... That creates a divide in the workplace. So if James Harden, like, well, I'm a Democrat. I support the Democrats. Some people might not care about it, but then again, that creates a whole different issue for people who do are Republican. I don't like James Harden. He don't want to be, and I get it. Remember, Michael Jordan say well, Republicans buy Jordans too. And I think I could, I could, I could respect what James is doing, but then again, I think he need a better PR person to be like, you know what? I want to get into politics at, at the workplace. That's what I say. Well, the NBA is not, the union is political, and well, I just worry about the union. I don't really get political. That's all you got to say. But for him to say, well, I hadn't seen it or heard it, are you crazy? Everybody seen that shit yesterday. Everybody in America seen it. Everybody. For you to go out there and play boo boo the fool, boo boo, yo, get man, want to go get a picnic basket? This make you look bad. They like your mother look bad. They like whoever raised you look bad. Because I'm not into politics. I see them happen. I'd be like, I don't really talk to politics in the workplace. You know, come, you know, off the record. You know what I'm saying? Or something of that nature. But I guess, you know, maybe you don't get political. But then we making all that money. And when you want to do something with that money, or when you want to find out, you know, how many tax you got to pay, you got to get political. You feel me? So I really don't get, you know, or well, I didn't pay attention to it, huh? Like, what do you pay attention to? Pussy? Strippers? Liquor? You know what I'm saying? And even, you know, liquor has a political background, you know, during the pro Prohibition days. And so do when they were sneaking them Virginia cigarettes, <laughs> you know, in towns and stuff. So everything is political. Down to everything you do, your money. How many taxes, they, how much taxes they taking out when you go to, when you play in California, when you play in Michigan, when you play in New York, when you play in, you know, Florida, how much taxes they taking out? Because, you know, Every city a player play in, every city a player play in, they got to take taxes out. So, what is it, 41 games a year usually? If you got 41 games on the road, you got to do 41 tax, right? Tax, you got to do 41 taxes for those states. So, every 41 states you play in, you got taxes. Where the NBA go? So, you're telling me you don't care nothing about politics? That just seemed to be, what, James Harden, 31, 32, 33? How do you think Michael Jordan got to be a billionaire? It was all about political. Even how he answered that sneaker question, it was political. You know, politics times everything when you are at our age. Because at some point, you got to mature and stop watching SpongeBob and, and stop watching cartoons, stop watching, you know, idiot shit like the Chappelle show. At some point, you got to make your mind mature. You got to understand what these laws they pass and how they affect you and, you know, how to go down there and not let those laws pass over so for James. And maybe his answer was like, maybe his answer was like, uh, maybe his answer was like, you know, uh, I, I kind of, I don't want to answer it. And people said, well, I don't believe, you know, he wore the Blue Lives Matter mask. Well, I ain't know, but how many times you not going to fucking know? Please tell me, how many times you going to keep my shit? I don't know, 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 but what the fuck do you know? When you going to write your mistakes? Well, James ain't know what the Blue Lives Matter meant. Somebody just bought it for him. Well, shit, okay, that's one strike. Well, I didn't know what's going on out there. That's two strikes. So if you uh, 
politically illiterate. Or you got you hide yourself. And if James is a Republican, I get it. I'm not knocking him. And he want to keep his views private. And I ain't knocking him for that. But don't go out there and go, I don't know. And I get it if you don't want to be out there and be like Jalen Brown or Neil or be with Black Lives Matter. I get it. I've messed with the phrase Black Lives Matter, but not what it really represents. But to keep saying, I don't know. I don't know. I ain't see. It. I ain't. Like, are you are you idiot? The same next question. I don't do polit politics at the workplace. You know, that's my issue with James Harden. He says, I don't know. I don't know. That's like the teacher calling you. Bethany, what, what is this? I don't know. James, I don't know. James, I don't know. I don't know. Like, what do you know? And ain't nobody asking him to be a role model at all. Nobody said, well, James, go be a role model. No, but then, shit. What do you know? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I ain't see it. So you ain't hear nothing about it. This is the first time. I don't believe that. Because y'all in the locker room getting there. Hey, man, y'all niggas see that? Come on, man. Like I said, I lost a lot of respect for James Harden a long time ago as a man. You know, and, and, and I respect him. He come out and say, you know, my political views are just private. And maybe James don't vote. Shaquille O'Neal revealed the first time he voted was against Donald Trump. And people are like, you ain't vote for Obama? Dick Rod and Obama. Remember that on, on the boondocks. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, from James Harden and Draymond, they called them terrorists. Shout out to Draymond for speaking his mind. Because they trying to put them in the same place as people that protest privately, well, silently against police brutality and people that protest for Black Lives Matter. Or even what Dr. King did was a peaceful protest that turned violent. And if somebody going to be hosing me down and, and sicking German shepherds on me, Please believe me, I'm bringing that too with me, straight up and down. Don't matter if it's if you black and brown people, you know they go through things too. What's so messed up about that is you know you know you think black and brown kind of will come together and go, but shit, it's like that. A lot of situations we we like this. We might mess with each other, women, but we don't we don't get together. So they fighting individually, we fighting individually. You know, hopefully that gap is starting to close of now, but you know, you know, you can't probably you can't peacefully protest. Cause then y'all seen as a mob. And people say, Well, wouldn't them got people burning down their own city? You damn right. Because when we go, we shall overcome. We do when we do that, we still get our ass beat. We still get hit with water hoses. Y'all still get physical. So at the end of the day, let's get ignorant. And let's burn some shit down, which I don't agree with it. Burn our own shit down. Let's go to the suburbs and burn their shit down. You know, let's burn some shit down. That's how they see, how they feel. They're angry. At the end of the day, y'all going into a, a government building raising hell. Ain't that crazy? It ain't nobody getting hurt. And Draymond Green is right. Those are not protesters. Protesters don't do that. Protesters don't, don't do that. Trayvon is right. Those are terrorists. And we can't be terrorists. This is our country. No, it's not your country. This is a country that you ran to because y'all wanted to get away from the Great Britain, from England. Y'all ain't want to work for the Queen no more. And for them, for them, when they came to come, when they came to come get you from this country, it was God. It was people like the Native Americans and us who helped you get your get your freedom, and who helped you. You know, basically built this country brick by brick. It was us, and what we in the turn and in return, what do we get? Nothing. Hundreds of hundreds of years of oppression, and we still being oppressed. And Draymond is right. He is absolutely right. Those are terrorists. Hold on. <laughs> Those are terrorists. However you like it or not, they are terrorists. You know. And that's crazy because, oh, we can't have domestic terrorists. Oh, yes, that's why the term is created. All those people should have been shot. Only one lady got killed. How many people got killed if if, if the other did that? A ton of them. And I agree 100% with Draymond Green. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. All my social media links, description, fast way to reach me is Twitter, then Facebook, then Instagram. All those links there. We also got a Facebook group. You want to make a financial donation. Cash app CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. 
Let me know what you think about it in the comment section about the situation with James Harden and Draymond Green. Check out NBA Talk Play. Let's more videos like this one time for the one time we go.